Hello guys, Adrian here and welcome to the vlog. As you can tell, I just got out of the shower and I just woke up. Uh, I'm not in a suit and tie today, I'd normally be. It's Monday, it is the start of the week and it's uh, going to be a pretty big week for me because i got to get a lot of stuff in order um, in, in case I'm flying out. Like I said, I, I'm not buying the ticket till everything's for sure because things are kind of murky right now uh, with uh, my friend who is supposed to be flying with us. Um, anyways... That being said, it is 3.50 in the afternoon on Monday. Um, I literally just woke up maybe 30 minutes ago, showered, all of that good stuff. Have my cup of coffee freshly brewed right here to get me fueled. Um, and ironically enough, I slept like rather early yesterday. I told myself I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to start getting into the rhythm of things. And, and see, for me, I have two modes. I'm either fully productive and I can be really productive or I'm totally really, really lazy and the opposite of productive obviously and there is no in between for me like it's it's either I'm really productive I'm really sidetracked doing other things and it's really bad so yesterday or this morning technically I slept around 1 30 um I laid in bed till like 2 a.m and then passed out at 2 a.m I woke up 8 a.m so rather really early for me anyways woke up 8 a.m got to my email for 30 minutes and decided you know what I can sleep for another hour went back to sleep for another hour and then turned off my alarm once it went off Next thing I know, like, I just stayed there. I kept them, like, waking up and falling back asleep. And the next thing I know, it was 3.30 in the afternoon. And I was like, you know what? I need to get out of bed. This is ridiculous. And, um, you know, I, I don't know what it is my, with my body. Usually, I can, like, go with four or five hours of sleep and be good to go. But I was just super lazy. Like, I would get halfway up and just like, you know what? I just want to... I just want to go back to sleep or I just want to lay down. And that's one of the big disadvantages of working from home and, and, and being self-employed. It's kind of like nobody's going to reinforce that on you uh, type thing. And, and you, you know, it's kind of like even if you're a student and you have school, you have to get up, you know, no matter if you don't want to and no matter if you miss that alarm, uh, you kind of have that thing in the back of your head. You're like, crap, you know, like I, I got spring up. I'm going to be late. I'm going to be whatever. Like for me, it's kind of like I, I don't always have that because there is times like little blankets of time where I'm not doing anything so that that gives me opportunities to get sidetracked anyways um what I am working on is changing up my routine having some people you know uh, told me that it's better to shift er important things earlier in the morning that way when you wake up you deal with those right away and the hard stuff's out of the way and rather than just kind of like checking email and, and doing other stuff and getting sidetracked I take care of business right in the morning and then after that I can kind of prioritize other things following that throughout the afternoon so I'm, I'm working on that Anyways, welcome to the vlog as usual, and uh, I got to edit yesterday's vlog, so I will catch you throughout the day, what's left of it anyway. Anyways, also speaking about distraction, not distraction so much, but one thing I also kind of want to work on, and this has always been a thing, and I think it's something I need to, um, what I, one of my personal things, um, I like to create more than I consume like and, and, and before that used to be so prevalent to me like I used to always be creating content and nowadays I am too it's just not all that is uploaded for me it's for other clients etc um, and that's okay but I mean creating in general and and it's that's a reason I originally Tumblr used to be a big distraction for me that's a reason I originally left Tumblr because I really wanted to go out there and, and create because nowadays the word blog is used so loosely in the fact that yes it's still blogs but a lot of blogs now are just reblogs or just other people's content. And yes, it's, it's it's a component of stuff you like, but the era of people creating stuff and, 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 and in a day now and age, it's so hard to create more than you consume because consumption of media is everywhere. I mean, we have things like Netflix, we have YouTube, we have everything at our fingertips that it makes it so easy to consume a lot of other content that we forget to create. And by create, I don't just mean like you have to put stuff out there for the world. I'm just mean doing it for you whether that's drawing or writing for yourself or taking pictures, whatever it is. So that's something I'm definitely trying to do more, create more than I consume. Hey guys, I just spent the last 20 minutes shooting a video on one of my favorite topics, success. As you can see, I was shooting with my DSLR here. And you know what, I need. there's a lot of things I want to get for this and I'm just so lazy to buy things for it. I need a 50 millimeter lens. I also want one of those like uh, external uh, screens to make it easier for my fo focusing and all of that. Um, I'm still a huge DSLR noob. Anyways, yeah, one of my favorite topics, success. I made multiple videos on it, but this was really my favorite one because I, I, I kind of simplified it, and it, it just looking at it from a really, really different viewpoint than I normally talk about it. And then I, I always mention success is relevant to each its own. It's, it, it's, it's unique. You can't fully describe it. Even if I did the best video in the world and the best explanation in the world, you still wouldn't fully grasp it. 
Anyways, yeah. Anyways, uh, now I'm going to go try and clean up the office. You can see I have tons of jackets and stuff. This is my old office chair right here sitting there because I have a new one, as you can see. Um, but all these jackets and stuff are on it because we cleaned out my closet. It's completely empty because the wood has to be refurnished inside. So everything is out right now and it's sitting over there. <sighs> Anyways, the day continues. And just like that, I am in a uh, tie in more formal attire. Um, I got a call to go to dinner tonight, and uh, I decided, you know, might as well change out anyway because I was just in house clothes. And um, I've been doing this thing where, uh, obviously, you know, putting on a suit and tie has always been my thing working from home. It's kind of like my way to start the day or kind of be like, you know, this is a work day type thing. But also when I go out to, like, if it, if it is a work day, then I don't really bother on changing because this is my job. It's like me coming from work to dinner to lunch whatever um so I, i'm gonna meet some friends at a mongolian barbecue place tonight it's all you can eat for like 15 dollars really good deal really good food um and there's no time limit or anything like that which makes it better um but yeah we're gonna discuss some stuff um not business related things because i've been one of the big things i've been really into lately is investing investments uh having the principle of my money make money essentially um and cryptocurrencies like bitcoin have been a big thing i've been trading lately um and as well as just other like normal stocks i've been looking into the market uh options and and, and all of that so one of my friends and me are, have been looking into that and i'm going to talk to him tonight about some stuff and just you know have a conversation have a good time over dinner get back and uh back to the work day i guess anyways uh i'll probably see you by the time i head to the restaurant in about an hour Hey guys, so I'm driving here with my uh, over light, overhead lamp on, light, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, just got out of the dinner, decided I was going to film there, but I didn't end up filming because uh, it was really loud and obviously we're at dinner, so, uh, you know, there's moments where I don't really want to pull out a phone and, and I more, try more and more, especially when I'm out with friends or anybody in general, to not pull out my phone and, and keep that in the pocket and all that. Because I think so many people, like, it, it's such a barrier nowadays, so many people are always on it. And that's coming from somebody like me who is a technology fanatic and a vlogger, I guess. So, yeah. Anyways, other than that, there was also, like, a going away party going down there for somebody. So it was really, really loud. They were giving speeches and all this stuff. Anyways, I'm on my way home right now. It's about, just about 9 o'clock at night. Um, got a lot of stuff to get done and get organized. But I had a good dinner. Shout out to Jesse and Brandon if they ever watch us. I know Brandon for sure watched the vlog, so... Shout out to you, man. Uh, good dinner. I think they're one of them's going to the gym and the other one's going home. But yeah, I'm gonna go home at least. Stop by. I'm gonna stop by like a a convenience store to get a energy drink for tonight. And um, yeah, should be good to go after that. So you can see here, I opted out of the energy drink and went with the fruit smoothie or a fuse. A strawberry melon. I've never really tried these before. Um, I had them once and they're pretty good, so I wanted to actually go healthy. And I got a Cliff Bar chocolate chip peanut crunch uh, just because I figured if I have an energy drink, I'm probably gonna stay up anyway, but if I have an energy drink, I'll just really mess up my sleep pattern more. And one thing I also want to talk about so I have a money clip here. This is a Louis Vuitton money clip uh, with the magnet and everything, but you can see here this is a hundred dollars. This is what a hundred dollars looks like in yen, so yeah, 10,000 yen is what you call it. So uh, one thing I, one thing that's hard about having two currencies, uh, or not hard, but one, I, one thing I don't like, you can kind of compare the size between a dollar and, uh, 10,000 yen, it's almost like half the size unfolded up, but yen is just so much bigger, the, the bills and all that, so keeping it in, like, a wallet and stuff like that tends to be a problem and stuff like, or not be a problem, but, I don't know, I'm just, uh, I really like proportions and, and having everything, like, what do you call it, fitted and all that, but you can just see how much, like, on, in the money clip itself, how massive, the 10,000 yen looks like here. So you can see right there, it's huge. Uh, total first world problem, but yeah, the struggles I guess of managing two currencies. Home sweet home. So I'm gonna have my snack after I just came back from a Mongolian barbecue. Anyway, just a small snack and then uh, on to the work. Hi guys, so it is now 3.30 a.m. So I'm well on my way to fixing my sleep schedule. Not really, no. <laughs> Um, I am, I was, I got off a call, um, that I spent about an hour on talking to some old friends. I was working in the middle of working. Um, I got a message from a friend and, um, I told him I'd pop in for a couple minutes to Skype with him because he, I haven't talked to him in a while. And you see, living overseas, one of the things is that all your friends kind of live everywhere and they're on all different time zones. And that's always been a struggle for me, you know, working from home, I don't work normal hours. So when all my friends are off work or all my friends are actually on, I'm usually not on or I'm busy. 
you know what, but I, I decided to take the time. I was like, you know, I'll come in for like five, ten minutes and, and see what's up, you know, and catch up with you guys. So I didn't know everybody was in there. Like three of us were in there and then um, ended up calling another friend. So it was four of us. And again, literally all parts of the globe, Georgia, uh, Netherlands, obviously, two, and then two of us were here in Japan. Um, ended up talking for like an hour and a half. And it was just really, really um, cool because obviously we were catching up and all that. And you know, I was like, you know what? Uh, I can just do the work later on, really. And it, it's nothing that was, like, time-sensitive work. And, and I definitely think there needs to be a line between work and personal. Like, but I was working past 12 a.m. anyway. Um, but, I mean, you know, during your normal working hours, of course, set that separation. People shouldn't be calling you. Because the difference when you work from home, people like to think they have this um, ability to, you know, take your attention wherever they please because you're not working in an office environment. But the thing is, you got to treat it just like an office, you know, no, somebody wouldn't just storm into your office and, and demand your attention. Uh, if you're working like in an office space or environment, it's more rude, but they wouldn't call you on the phone to talk for an hour. But in this case, like I said, um, I was working late and I was like, you know what, I'm going to take the time to talk to them. I ended up talking for like an hour and a half. And I think that's one big thing we need to do every now and then. Of course, the boundaries aside, work, professional environment, um, take the time every day to, to, to do something. I wrote this on adrianc.me, so you guys can find that blog post. I'll actually link it in this description below. Um, now I'm, I was thinking about making a whole separate video for it, but really, in essence, what the blog post goes over is take the time, you know, whether you're giving somebody a minute of your time or an hour of your time, um, you're giving them time. And what I mean, time is a very, very precious resource to give because you don't get it back. There's no rewinding, there's no do-over. It's a resource that we give that represents our attention, what we care about, who we care about, whom we give it to, um, and and what we put our time into it says a lot about us as a person. So I think, again, if you're even if I if I'm given a minute or if I'm giving somebody a minute of my time to talk to somebody to say something to somebody, it means I'm thinking about them. It means that I want to essentially, you know, I I'm wanting to give you my attention or whatever it may mean. And, and I value that. Like I said, if somebody's just giving me their time, I, I don't take that for granted because, like I said, time we can't take back and we don't know how much time we have in general. Um, but yeah, so like I said, take the time. And I'm not, in the blog post that you can read it, I, I also described I'm not much for the excuse of being too busy to do this or that. You know, look, don't get me wrong, I definitely wish there was more hours in the day. I definitely wish I didn't have to sleep physically. Uh, for certain hours, I wish I could just be constantly productive and being able to go out and have a good time and all that, but I can't. That's not possible. But the fact of the matter is, you have time. You know, you have like five minutes, you have seven minutes, you have ten minutes. Like, I understand life gets busy, life gets hectic. I'm managing two companies right now. I have a load of side projects I'm doing and all this other stuff while managing other people to help me working on projects. But the fact of the matter is, I still have five minutes at the end of the day. I still have ten minutes at the end of the day to do this, to do that, to shoot a vlog, to shoot a video for you guys, all that stuff. So you have the time. And with that said, guys, I think the time on this vlog is running to an end because it is nearly four in the morning. And I am going to try and get some rest so I can get up tomorrow morning and uh, get on to the next vlog and get on with the next day. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.